Hello guys, my name's Lee and welcome yourselves to The Gaming Corner to another episode on the Bedrock Survival series and in this episode we will be doing very minimal work to the village wall in this episode mainly going to be focusing, as it's in the title, the farm pathway to the farm area, that's the plan for today but first off we'll do a little bit into the Onzi wall and then go from there so if you actually like this kind of episode don't forget to leave this leave a like comment subscribe push that bell notification so you miss any upcoming videos and without further ado let's get into this episode so here we are at the section where the farming is going to be taking place i've actually from this block here it says farming i've done 14 14 blocks down and then five blocks for a little inter intersection that joins the f two f farming sets and a storage area for it so that's basically what I've done here as you can see I put the torch down as my tape measure as it's quite easy to cut the blocks that way so it's 14 blocks from back there and then it should be five blocks up like that I don't know why I did that to be honest but there should be five blocks for the center which end up being a little bit more spaced out a little bit more at certain points but as you can see here I'm just going to be clicking away making the walls of how it's going to set it out to a certain degree and really working out how I'm going to do this to make it easier on the eye for, for me to use it and make it look a bit more interesting that's the plan so I'll quickly do that quickly so I've cut a little bit more of the digging out of the way because um, at this moment in time, whilst I was recording this, I was still working out how to how I was going to do it because I wanted it in the section to split the farms up a little bit more because obviously one side's going to be the trees for the, all the trees that can, or can grow just using one in a one block space like the oak, birch wood, acacia wood. But obviously you've got trees like and maybe a small jungle with tree plus you've got your big oak dark oak ones which are probably be a bit more too big for the area I want to go for so as you can see here I've done extend out one so it's going six by six now hopefully what so one side that's one side's gonna be the trees one's gonna be the crops so I'm not home sure at this moment, oops, this moment in time how it's going to work out but we'll get there in the end so here I've done a little bit of work on the tunnel from main base to the junction area. A little bit different than what the other best places is, but it will be changed. I'm still working at how I'm going to do the junction area and how the entrance is going to be. I've also put into effect that obviously I've got the storage area I want to put in place as well. But I've thought I'll go down a little bit further, I think, for that, to be fair. So it's not going to interrupt with the farming or crops in any shape or form so that's the plan so back to the area in place and go from there I think what do you think so as you can see here I've done a little design for the um, archways through the tunnels and entrances to other places I've got to fill in the gaps and work about how I'm going to do it like so and obviously here how am I going to but it's, I'm lucky here because all well, actually in sync with each wall is actually exactly the same in diameter amount of blocks so that's one bonus I've got in my favour I think to be fair and it actually turned out how to how I wanted it to plan so I've come here just testing what I want to how I'm going to do the entrances through each of the areas there obviously not going to stay as cobblestone stairs it was, so it's easy for me to make at a precise moment in time so I can work out how I want it done. Obviously, there'll be a gap there, but it'll be filled up. I was going to put cobblestone. I thought, no, nah, that's a good idea. It'll be go for the same roofing I've done most places in the tunnel area, is by using stone bricks all the way around with the diorite flooring. So that should cover up that um, area in total, making it more feng shui, as I like to say. So come up here, so I've changed all to oakwood plank, oakwood stairs, sorry, of each tunnel pathway to each area. 
and obviously I've put the um, diorite and the stone stairs as like in most of my tunnels area and as this junction it will be the same design so we'll go through here now basically this area here that's gonna be like a storage area for like all my crops drops from like trees like sappers sticks apples and then obviously one side is going to be for the trees area all, all the trees that can grow underground in an area and one's obviously going to be for my crops <coughs> like yeah uh, wheat beetroot carrots potatoes and go from there so that's not too bad i think to be fair now I've got to work on the pathway up towards this area here, so it's not going to be that hard because I'll go with the same design and concept that I've been doing in most of my tunnel pathways areas in total. That's the plan. So a little progress update. Obviously the pathways along here has, is the same as the others, as, as how I want it to look to be fair, as, it's, as to how I want it to be. Obviously, still got more work to do. I've got the birch wood half slabs in place of what I had on me at the moment. Again, probably could have done with using blocks, but for me, I thought more for your money putting half slabs down. So that's the route I've chosen anyway. Let me know in the comments if you think I should have done it in blocks, and but to me, I feels like it would be more got more for your money with using half slabs to cover a bigger area that's what I've done but in this area here I've not really done much I'm actually still thinking how I'm gonna do this but hey that's that's how it goes it's how the cookie crumbles so that's what I've done so far to all progress I say progress update on for that but it's getting there quite well I reckon to be fair so as you can see now, I've actually managed to get to get it to a point where I feel like it's been finished. To a certain degree, all the pathways. Okay, I've still got to put you know, wood blocks in place between the on the right left there. But other than that, this room I think for the time being is at the point where I can say, yes, that's done. To a certain degree. Still got to do my other areas out there from there to the other end but other than that I think I'm at the point now well I could, just got to put those in which I could do in the next episode or before the next episode and call this, this little pathway here done that's the plan so here I don't be showing much of it of the wall because I've really done much to be fair worthy of being a hot being too much said to it but as you can see I've actually changed the cobblestone from blocks at the bottom from cobblestone to stone bricks and it'll go up three blocks as you can see here I've got three blocks of oak wood planks and then another brown another line all around of stone bricks on top of that so basically other than that nothing's really been much done to it apart from that so I say it doesn't really warrant going into the video in the full depth when I have hardly touched it but here as you can see this is the area I have been working on mainly, <coughs> mainly which is the pathway to my farming area I say nothing's really been changed to it since uh, apart from that obviously I'm not sure about this acacia wood but what I have done as you can see here I've actually done an area and I've planned it out as far back as it's going to be for the pathway and then it'll eventually may extend a bit further I'm not 100 sure yet but other than that that's all that's been done to this area here so I've obviously cut blacks about f seven blocks back in each direction but that's not too bad but again a, s a future project I can do at a certain time but other than that, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and push the bell notification to miss any upcoming video. And apart from that, 
and I'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, bye!